What's going on YouTube? JT is your born here, aka Sean, and welcome to my G-Fest 2023 video. That's right, last month I went to G-Fest and I had a fantastic time. And uh, what you're about to see is some of the footage I shot at the convention with some voiceover mixed in. I had like an hour and a half of footage, so I'm like, at this point I'm like, I gotta have some sort of intro and then I gotta condense this thing down because I don't know if anybody wants to sit through just me walking around the convention for an hour and a half just kind of doing this and maybe a few little video cuts here and there. So I'm definitely gonna condense this thing down but uh, yeah, so I had a fantastic time. Uh, so I drove in G-Fest week on that Thursday. I stayed at the Crown Plaza Hotel. So I'll kind of do a brief rundown of each day. So Thursday, went to the Crown Plaza, checked in, then met up with Cinematic Trash, who I never actually got to see in person before, unless I met him five years ago when I went to G-Fest the one and only time, and I just didn't realize it. So that was like five years ago, and then like now we're here, got to hang out, met his girlfriend, met his dad, and went to the Taste of Park Ridge Festival, and they had some concerts and all that, and you'll see footage in that in a second. Then I went to the Pickwick, and I saw King Kong Escapes and then basically from there like went back to the hotel next day was G Fest day one spent several hours at the convention buying all sorts of stuff exploring it trying all sorts of different things and then I also went and hung out with one of my other friends and I ended up seeing Transformers like Rise of the Beast later on that day crashed again at my hotel room I was so dead tired and then Saturday uh went back to the convention again because that was just the only time I've ever been to G-Fest all the days uh met up with Pierce in that again and then we met up with Big Jack Films who I haven't seen in person in five years so that was always really cool I got to meet Josh and hung out did a bunch of stuff at the conventions then that later on that night went to the Galloping Ghost Arcade and that place is absolutely awesome it's one of the coolest places I've ever been to so did that then Sunday was kind of the final day to say goodbye to everyone uh went to the convention again say goodbye to Jack and uh, Josh to I don't know how they function without sleep like they were going pretty much no sleep like all weekend we filmed a bunch of projects and walked around the convention bought stuff and it's, it's an exhausting uh, experience so Jack that left said their final goodbyes really good time and then I went up met up with cinematic trash and like you know his family and all that and then basically from there we went and kind of had a, a final meal all together really good time really delicious food went to the Bill Murray Caddyshack restaurant and then from there, said our final goodbyes, and uh, I drove back home, and uh, I've kind of been, like, feeling the post-G-Fest blues ever since. So, uh, yeah, so this video is a month later. I had a tremendous time at G-Fest. I also got to meet people who were fans of the channel, so shout-out to all of you who I got the chance of meeting. Uh, it was an absolute pleasure, and uh, it was just a fantastic time. I loved it. I'm sad that it had to end when it did, but my wallet is kind of thankful too because for as much like i got my credit card statement in like this past week and i was like holy shit sean how much did you spend at this convention so that was a bit of a an eye opener but uh yeah it was really it was really a good time it was really the only time i um really went on any sort of trip this whole year like like a fun like little vacation it was only a couple of days because and then i took that monday off because i was like i'm not working today i have like no energy because like those conventions we were like off on the road doing stuff each day it just kind of kicks your ass so uh yeah but anyways so enjoy the video i'll have some voiceover intro kind of describing each day with some footage and i'll kind of cut that intertwine with that some little behind the scenes bits and all that and then uh we'll just kind of see where it goes from there because like i said i recorded like an hour and a half worth of footage and it was just kind of overwhelming so i'm like i gotta condense this thing down because this is just this is just too much right now so anyways enjoy the footage Thank you to everyone I got the chance of meeting. Thank you, special thank you once again to Cinematic Trash, uh, Big Jack Films, uh, Josh, and everyone who I really got to hang out with at the convention. Now, Cinematic Trash did his own vlogs uh, stuff, which I will leave a link in the description below for each of the, the days that he kind of put it all together so you can check those out because those are all well done, like daily vlogs. Although I think like uh, the third day was just kind of like raw footage. It was just like, I'm too tired. You just get too tired to go ahead and record all this stuff. So, um, I'm also, Pierce, I'm going to steal just a snippet of footage for my Thursday stuff, so um, just just for the intro, the rest of it's all me, but just want to ha kind of have that, because I didn't really like record as much on Thursday, because I wasn't thinking to bring my camera or anything, but uh, yes, so there we go, enjoy the footage, thank you so much everybody, enjoy the G-Fest 2023 vlog convention experience, whatever, it's a month later, or over a month later since the convention ended, so uh, I gotta get this thing done before August ends at the time of recording this, but uh, Peace out. All right, welcome to the G-Fest Adventures. So day zero, or the Thursday as I like to call it, I drove into town 
Uh, it took me about five hours to get there. I got to the Crown Plaza Hotel, which is where G-Fest was five years ago when I last had been there. So it was a bit of a memory like reactivation, if you will, kind of going to this place. So I went and stayed at the Crown Plaza, which, by the way, $25 a day for parking, despite the fact that I'm already paying for the hotel. I mean, you'd think they would give their hotel customers complimentary parking, but of course not. They just have to ridiculously overcharge everyone for these things in this city. Also, $5 a gallon for gas. Just ridiculous. But anyways, little rant out of the way. So. So I got into my hotel room, checked the place out. Uh, it's a pretty cool hotel overall. They had a fitness center. They had a pool, which unfortunately I couldn't use because rainwater leaked in from the outside and it's considered a biohazard. So they had to drain the pool and clean it. And the pool was shut down for my entire trip there. And I was really disappointed because I really wanted to go swimming because I don't have a pool. But anyways, uh, disappointed aside, uh, I went back and uh, got my stuff packed up. And then I headed down to Park Ridge, uh, Illinois for the Taste of Park Ridge Festival where I met up with this man, the man, the myth, the legend himself cinematic trash aka pierce and met his girlfriend met his dad and got to experience the taste of park ridge festival had some delicious chicken tenders which were absolutely amazing unfortunately they destroyed my stomach the next morning i was pretty much uh hairy from dumb and dumber after lloyd slips in the laxative not exactly a fun time. Uh, and then from there, like I said, uh, that Thursday night, we also got to watch some concerts. The first band we got to see is this band called Ginger Road. They specialize more in country-themed stuff. And I'm not the hugest country music kind of guy, but I like the stuff that they were playing overall, especially this song. <laughs> And then from there, another band came up to play, and I only listened for like a song or two, known as Seventh Heaven. Uh, they're, I guess, a little bit more popular, uh, but they did this thing where they like to throw guitar picks, and like right at the start of the show, like when they went up there to start to sing, uh, they were throwing guitar picks, and like one hit me right in the fucking face, and I'm like, oh, like, I mean, Jesus, like how many guitar picks do you got to throw? But hey, I kept it, it's mine, and uh, basically from there, I watched a song or two, said my goodbyes to Pierce and all that, because I want to go to check out a movie at the Pickwick Theater, which is a really nice old school timey theater where they would play all these different movies from g-fest so this is the official like theater place for g-fest now they had a little film festival thing at the convention which is a little bit different but the pickwick is kind of like specializing kind of old timey stuff i like the atmosphere it felt kind of cool to get in there uh the movie that i saw that night was king kong escapes with an introduction from linda miller now i know they played other movies during the day they played destroy all monsters godzilla raids again and godzilla 1998 which would have been fun to see but you know the timing of it all i couldn't really get to it in time because i had to check in at my hotel at a specific time and i don't know it was just kind of one of those things where i'm like eh, okay like I, have, I haven't i wasn't really familiar with the area but now i know the lay of the land so i'll be more prepared for next time when i go to g fest so then king kong escape started to play they also had this cool little video intro uh for the theater like this like 10 minute opening thing like it was just a big huge tribute to king kong it's going through his entire history and all that that was a lot of fun to watch and then i ended up re-watching king kong escapes I haven't seen that movie in quite a while, but I had a fun time. It's nice to see it with a big crowd like that. So I would have liked to have seen more movies at the Pickwick. I know the Friday they played a movie, uh, Godzilla Against Mechagodzilla, with Yumiko Shaku doing the intro there. Uh, I didn't get the chance to see that. Oh, But then again, I did get to see that movie in theaters anyway, so it wasn't all that bad. And then on Saturday, they played Godzilla 2014, which I would have liked to have seen again in theaters with a big fan base, but uh, I was doing something else on that Saturday. So anyways, like I said... Day zero, if you will, the pregame for the big event. I basically, after that, went back to my room, kind of crashed, and uh, I'll, oh wait, before that, I also recorded a video like talking about my experience watching King Kong Escapes, which you can check out in the link below. And uh, that was it for day zero. And then on to day one, G Fest beginning. All right, now walking to Godzilla Fest, day one. Of course, it's raining today because you wouldn't have it any other way, but I did run into somebody. Like if you can see him, there you go, cinematic trash, Pierce there. How you doing, sir? Big chillin'. Yes, that's right. I peered in his vlog, so he has to peer in mine now. It's like a contractual obligation thing. So, but anyways, so the hotel's like right over there. Let's get started. Ah, day one, the official start to the convention. 
what a fantastic time all around. So day one began, uh, we went to the Hyatt Regency Hotel, which is a really cool looking hotel, by the way. Uh, the building architecture kind of reminds me of the movie Dread. I don't know why, just kind of the way it's kind of laid out like that. So that was kind of cool. Uh, we wanted to go to the dealer's room right away, but that line was absolutely insane. It wrapped around like the whole like hotel pretty much. So uh, what Cinematic Trash and I basically did was we kind of walked around the place and kind of like got a feel of the land, if you will, just trying to see where everything's at. Cause I mean, I haven't been to this place before and it's the start of the convention. You kind of have to get the lay of the land and figure out where everything's at. We walked around, uh, saw where the different panels and that were being held, went downstairs and got to see all these other cool things and kind of explored room by room in kind of more greater detail uh, what each room was for, but not everything was fully set up at the time. So by the time we got done exploring all this different stuff, uh, that was the time when we went back up and actually got the chance to go into the dealer's room and... Let me tell you, this place was amazing. As I state in the video on multiple different days, it's like going into Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory for Godzilla fans. There's just so, so, so much stuff to do. And then from there, uh, kind of did our stuff, got some things, and then eventually I kind of left and pretty much called it a day from there. So what you'll see is just a bunch of footage of me kind of walking around different rooms like here. There's a room over here. Like, there's a bit of everything here. So I don't know how much I'll cut down or whatever, but... uh. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much the basic gist of it all. So a lot of exploring, kind of uh, buying some things, and then just kind of taking it easy from there. There you go. Okay, cool. Hey, what's going on, everyone? Sean here. Of course, Cinematic Trash, the cameraman for right now. Uh, we're officially at G-Fest. We just looked at the line for the dealer's room. We're going to say no to that for right now. I'll just go to the orientation and check out a two panels. That thing wraps around like the entire like, hotel. It is a massive, massive line. But I'm looking forward to checking out that dealer's room. I'm looking forward to checking out all the panels and seeing what today is. and legit oh. so but uh so i couldn't customize my name right there like uh cinematic okay. trash has but i figured the sticker would suffice so hey let's get started definitely could use that so now we're walking hey sean minia's place it's more your speed isn't it <laughs> minia's place it's coloring for kids this is good i feel like each hero right now might actually be more good. This has color for kids, but actually, like, my Kaiju photo booth? Oh, this is kind of neat. Oh, you could, like, you could bring up the atomic breath like this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I like it. Pin the tail on. Oh, you could do, like, a pin the tail on Godzilla. This is kind of neat. Pin the tail on Godzilla. Like, the party game. Look at that. You can do guy again. You can do other stuff here. Yeah, but she's always there whenever, like, months. <laughs> Please return usable scraps, throw away trash. Is this like a. That's my sister's. Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> Just looking. Don't touch my sister's things. Get creative. Some okay, cool. Well, so far I've been kicked out of one room and I got yelled at by a child. So, off to a great start a great already. <laughs> you like that? I want a color. This is the quiet room. I need nothing another adult to color. This is the display room. Oh, this doesn't start till noon. Yeah. So, there's a lot of stuff that's not going to be open for a while. That might be a bug for me, not going to lie. These. I want all of these. Look at this. This is pretty amazing stuff. Just, I want all of this in my collection. It'll bankrupt me, but I definitely want it. Oh, the arcade. Are we here? Here's the film festival. We got here playing. Just playing like some action movie, it looks like. 
So the arcade. Uh, so that's just the film festival. Let's see. No. I guess it's not open. Oh. Oh. Well, never mind then. Oh, look at this. Gigabash. Oh. It's alright, you know. So here we have Titanosaurus, Dojo Studios. Oh, look at the size of that. I like their little design right here. Oh my. Big Chungus Ghidorah. And now, heading into the dealer's room finally. Uh, it's taken two hours to get here. Exploring everything else, other avenues. But, the line is moving along okay. We're about to get in. And I'm going to go broke once I leave this room. So that is just a fact. An absolute fact. Boom. Oh my god. So look at all this stuff. This is insane through here. We're now officially in my favorite room, the dealer's room. Look at that. Cinematic Trasher. How are you feeling? I'm big chilling. That's this right. place is awesome. Oh, look at all this. Oh, I'm going broke. these VHS tapes, like these exact ones. Hello. Uh, ready. These four. And I think I have a discount thing. Look at all this stuff. I'm like overwhelmed. They have some games too. I, I don't even know where to start. Like I'm just like, yeah. look at all this stuff. This is like heaven. This is like what these festivals are all about. Merchandising. I want to start with the movie vendor, because that's really all I really, really have room for. Mm -hmm. oh, Movies shit. are protected in a case. Yes, fair point. I do need to get a Violante figure. That's the, yes, I have to get one for my nephew. Uh. Uh, figures. Oh, I know. Whoa, what is that? It's like... We got books. Uh -huh, thank you. Uh huh. So much merchandising. This movie is so incredibly ass. <laughs> I'm telling you. Fantastic. This is a Jerry Warren movie, remember I was telling you? Oh yeah, you're saying he's like the worst of the worst. Yes. Oh, but where do I go from here? Look at this place. Oh, this is awesome. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> so much stuff here. I can't even keep track of it all. I'm like sensory overload uh, for Godzilla. My Godzilla of myself. Alright, so just got out of the dealer's room. I felt like I went to Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory but for Godzilla fans. So I picked up a bunch of shirts, but I picked up my favorite item of all time for only like five bucks. That's right. Godzilla, the toilet paper. I can wipe my ass with cinema history just like that. So I got that. A couple of t-shirts, um, got some DVDs for right now. And again, this is only day one. We have to spread it out, otherwise we're going to be trouble. So, some schlocky movie known as Grizzly. And then the Daimajin Trilogy, which I have been wanting to watch for a long time. Yes. There's a Sailor Moon Godzilla crossover shirt. And then, of course, Cinema with the Giant Claw. 
that a pop stamp right there? There's a G Fest shirt. Oh, yeah. That, I like the way you did it, too. You did one of those. Like, that was a pop stamp right there. I'm get this for my nephew. So it's a Biolante figure. So we're doing good so far. I'm going to go check out some other stuff. I don't know if I was a good That'll be a good wrap on day one for right now. So. All right. So. Day one of G-Fest is pretty much a wrap at this point. Like I said, I was there for like five or so hours. I gotta space it out over the course of like tomorrow and the next day. Tomorrow's gonna be a lot of fun because Jack's coming into town. So I know he'll be watching this at some point. So it's gonna be fun because like everyone's gonna be reunited. So I had a great time hanging out with Cinematic Trash, his girlfriend and all that. So yeah, it's gonna be a pretty good time tomorrow. But today's pretty good. I'm gonna try and check out something at the Pickwick if I can tonight but only time will tell. I've got a few things i got to do, so yeah. So far, G-Fest, really good time. All right, day th two, three, whatever the day is of Godzilla Fest. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, Godzilla Fest, day two. Currently on my way to the hotel. Uh, Cinematic Trash is right behind me somewhere. I don't know, I can't even see. How's it going? Yep. So, Hi. hello, how's it going? G-Fest, day two, on our way. Gotta run into Big Jack Films. I haven't actually seen him in person in like five years, but we talk all the time, so it'll be a fun reunion. So, see you all soon. All right, Godzilla Fest, day two, day two, inside the convention. Now, looking for Big Jack Films, wherever he may be at. Okay, so I think you said the main entrance. That should be... Mr. Manning? <laughs> Damn it, he got me. <laughs> Alright, on to day two of G-Fest. This was an absolute blast of a day. It was a pretty busy day from start to finish. There was so much to do and so little time, but basically to kind of get the rundown of what happened is I woke up, had me some breakfast. Uh, I was definitely feeling pretty tired from the night before but we had the show had to go on i didn't work out in the morning like i did on the friday if you will but i kept you know kept a positive attitude so then i met up with pierce and you know his girlfriend and dad and then we walked over to the convention because he stayed at the hotel which is like right next door to mine so it was just walking right on the way to the hyatt regency and then basically from there i met up with uh big jack films and then kind of spent the day hanging out with him and Pierce and kind of going off separate ways. We also filmed various projects for Jack's uh, YouTube series uh, that'll come out whenever they come out. So this we actually filmed stuff between Saturday and Sunday. So we filmed a lot of stuff Saturday night. So that was like a pretty busy day trying to film stuff for the show and trying to get as much footage as we possibly can. And then also just trying to enjoy the convention as well. So going into the dealer's room was a lot of fun. Seeing all the various collectibles and figures and VHS tapes. I mean, this place, as I established many times, is like going into Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory. It is just on a whole other level of awesomeness. So did that, got to explore different rooms. There's like a cool modeling room right here, the various like figures and uh, statues and all that other stuff, little like miniatures built like that. I mean, look at this Mecha Godzilla thing right here. This is pretty freaking sweet. And then of course there's uh, this guy. Oh, great. Isn't this magical? One of my wires broke. <laughs> Okay. And then, like I said, after that, kind of walked around a bit. Jack went ahead and interviewed Linda Miller, which I don't know if he's posted or it'll be posted at some point on his channel or whatever. Uh, so there was that. And then after that, Metal Pierce and that, they went to back to Park Ridge. So said our goodbyes from there. Uh, and they were also going to the Pickwick, I think, that night or something else. Um, this was Saturday, right? Yeah, so this is Saturday. They were playing Godzilla 2014 that night. So he went off, did his own thing. And then Jack, Josh, and I went to Galloping Ghost Arcade, which is about like a 15-minute drive from there. And this place, I tell you what, one of the coolest places I've ever been to in my life. This place, walking in there, looking on the outside, I'm like, into it, I'm like, this is it? This is really going to be this arcade place? Like, all right, let's check it out. Because I was like, okay, this place better deliver. And then it's very misleading when you look on the outside because it looks like just an average, ordinary building. But when you walk in this place, it's like, holy fuck fucking shit this place is insane 
I mean, it took me like 10, 15 minutes to walk through the entire place. We just kept going and going and going and going. I mean, I recorded so much footage seeing all these different games got to play. Um, got to play a Sailor Moon game. There's like Primal Rage 2, the only copy in existence of it. Uh, there's Star Wars games, Mortal Kombat, pretty much every arcade game you can think of. And then, of course, the granddaddy of them all, the childhood favorite of myself and, of course, of Jack, Jurassic Park, the arcade game. Ah, the childhood memories, like, of spending so much money at Chuck E. Cheese, like, trying to beat this damn game. Uh, I had beaten it before, but um, just kind of sitting there and, like, playing it, it took me back. Now, normally the seat would move on the arcade machine, but uh, the hydraulics weren't quite working on that. But, you know, at least I got to experience playing the actual, like, arcade machine, and that put a big old giddy smile on my face. Like, I just had so much fun playing this game again. And uh, there were just so many other things. We also filmed stuff for you know, Jack show, which I won't get into the spoilers of what it is. In fact, I can't even remember half the stuff we filmed for. Uh, it was just so much stuff to kind of get footage for, but it was a lot of fun. And then also got some food at like some pizza place down there. And also like galloping ghosts, like this place is insane. They have a separate building for pinball. And then of course they have their own martial arts dojo because of course they do. How much of the city is owned by the people who own galloping ghosts? Like it's absolutely insane. So if you ever get the chance to go check out galloping ghost arcade. And then after that went back to the hotel room, I think we filmed some other stuff for the show i also had to deal with some really obnoxious like party goers too like they were so fucking loud it was like one in the morning they were screaming and yelling and all that but hey that's besides the point did that then i went and laid down and then i just like crashed like my body was just exhausted because i was just go 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 the entire day i was still dealing with some stomach stuff from the day before but just had to keep powering through like and just kind of like moved on and moved on and then i was ready for the final day oh, behind you jack all right here we are Godzilla Fest, here with the one and only Big Jack Films. I have not been in the dealer's room. This is actually a bigger one than last time I was here. This oh, no, is no. Like, this is, as I, I described it, it's like walking into Charlie and Willy Wonka's factory. Ladies and gentlemen, the Godzilla chocolate. Yes. Da, da, da. Da, da. Oh, my God. Holy oh, yeah. crap, it's full of goddamn merchandise. You know what I bought yesterday? Godzilla, the toilet paper. Exactly, exactly. Oh, Day two, Godzilla Fest, so much stuff. There's a Hulkzilla. Wait, wait, where? Yeah, a Hulk, the green one. Or no, it's Reptar. It's Reptar Earth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this place is like... Yeah, how does it have a Godzilla convention? Yet nobody's selling Reptar merchandise. I'm sure it's here somewhere. Hello. That, exactly. Oh, this, 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 is, this is something I've never seen before. The special edition. So what, does Kong shoot first? Wait, what's going on here? Oh, it's got concept art. You've never seen this? Oh, I've seen, okay, I know that that sculpture is from 1996. I've just never seen a close-up photo of that. Look at this. I definitely think I want. Wow, yeah, they got the CG models. I've never seen this book before. You know what, I'm getting you this book. Oh, this is. Davis. Yeah, it's a little John Reese Davis where, where it's only famous for him saying the line. What is that? That is the lost world. And here, I, think, I think that was their. I think that was their more. Oh, Silent thing. Rage. I had that VHS. Oh. All right, uh, Kong. Where is the King Kong movie? Here, is he son of Godzilla, which I have. Dora, eighty-five. Yeah, I'm grabbing those. Uh, yes. I'll keep those out here. Right. Yeah, I am digging like a motherfucker. Uh, oh, 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 catch, 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 catch. Ah. Not good for my back. Okay. Well, you see, we have King Kong and 8mm Prince. But you know what we do have, Daniel? We have audio. The first thing. I'm technically pirating this movie. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. The spider pit. Let's see if the spider pit's in here, actually, guys. No, it's not. You know how much this would be worth if we found a print with the spider pit? They, there they, it is, but... Yeah, they actually stated that it actually... Oh, yeah. how long are you guys here for? So we're here again until tomorrow. So I came in yesterday. Oh, actually, I came in Thursday. Here today. I'm going to be here tomorrow. Like my, like I'm, I'm heading back home because I'm from like Detroit. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, we're going to probably show... Check out these models. Oh, I like this one. 
Here we have cinematic trash filming the stuff. Didn't expect me. <laughs> you know what? This is like we're breaking like the fourth wall. We're, we're breaking like all kinds of walls. Yeah, this right is here. like this is I don't know like how you describe that, but this is YouTube section right here. Yes. Oh, these are fun ones. The Godzilla Arcade game is pretty fun. I think I'm gonna try and play some of it. But uh, you know what? I think it's time to play this game. Uh, Ultra or no, definitely Godzilla. And here we have Josh and Big Jack Films. Ghidorah versus Mecha King Ghidorah. Who's gonna kick whose ass? Now remember to look at the bottom of the screen there, you can see the combos. It's very hard to do. Oh! How'd you do that? Push all three I was forced to play as Megalon, and I got my ass handed to me by Cinematic Trash. Go! Whoa! I'm gonna win! I'm gonna beat Mechagodzilla! The fucking time limit! Oh, there's a time limit. Time limit's running out! Oh, you're gonna win? Well, no, no, you Oh, it's getting close! Look at that! Oh! He's making the comeback! He's making the comeback! He's got it! Four, three, two, one! Second remaining. He got loses. Look out, man. <laughs> but don't worry, you got more than one round. End of G Fest day two, basically. I'm here, of course, with Big Jack Films, cinematic trash right here. And uh, so, did you have a fun day today? I know we got more stuff we got we, planned we, on. We, we, got, we got more tomorrow as much as we can, and, and also tonight. But um, it was a good time. I've actually had a really good day here at G Fest. I want to come back next year. So hopefully, I can organize a little better and have a bit more money to uh, do more stuff. Because, hello, I like money. <laughs> yes, what about you, sir? 
Say what now? Oh, tomorrow's gonna be great. Today's been a great day. I actually like today better than yesterday. I'm gonna be really honest. Today, all the panels were interesting, especially the Don Fry panel. That panel was especially funny. Mm -hmm. I got to check out the game room this time, which I didn't do yesterday. The game room was pretty cool, actually. I, actually I, got, did, I, I like that Godzilla shooter game. You have to shoot the damn thing. And I got a shit ton of merch, too. Where the real money of the movie is made. Oh, yeah. G-Fest the t-shirt. <laughs> G-Fest the breakfast cereal. G-Fest the flame there! <sighs> hey, there's G-Fest the toilet paper, basically, yeah. which I bought. So. Perfect. Now you can wipe your ass with radioactive uh, nutrients. Exactly, exactly, exactly. Well, anyways, that's wrap for day two. See you in day three. Bye! Oh my God. Here at Galloping Ghosts, the world's largest arcade. Look at this place. This is sweet. Oh. Holy. Okay, this place is this old. Okay, I, Jack the Can of Big Jack Films, I'm about to embark on a historic moment. I have not played this machine, this baby, my favorite game, in almost 20 years. I'm the same way. And Josh is not here, and he's a virgin to this game. But you now, know what? I don't care. It looks like the seats do not move. But what we're about to experience was my childhood game. You can flip the camera for this. Uh, I can't flip it with this. This is my childhood game. Well, you can see us in the screen there. This was my childhood game. I love this. Get ready. For the original Jurassic, Jurassic Park. Park on the arcade. arcade. Push the button. Sega. Here we go. Oh my god, this is so cool. Now I've... the seat would normally move, okay? Yeah. Oh my god! Oh my god, I'm going back to my childhood! Oh my god! I have been wanting to play this game. Let's go! Holy shit! Shoot it, shoot it! The music! Here, keep my hand on. I gotta get my phone up. I, it's alright, we're, we're on a limited thing, so. Get him! Get him! We almost got him! Yeah! Da, bitch! Da! That's what Jurassic Park, the arcade. Yeah, uh, after how many dinosaurs murdered, I think. Oh, I love that game so much. That was. Holy shit, it's a dino that got really the song. It's like a good John Williams music. Oh, so these are tranquilizer darts and actual guns. And they never went back to Jurassic Park again. Today is officially day three, the final day of Godzilla Fest. <sighs> I am exhausted, but you know what? We're gonna stay strong, we're gonna enjoy the convention, then I'm headed back home. So, see you when this is all done. I don't know why I keep whispering for all these videos, but maybe it's because I'm really, really tired, but yeah, Godzilla Fest, day three, let's go. All right, <clears throat> heading over to the convention last day of Godzilla Fest. It's been a fun weekend. I'm going to meet up with Cinematic Trash, Big Jet Films, and uh, just kind of enjoy this last day. Probably have a going away lunch and a party, whatever. And then uh, it's back home. So, had a lot of fun this weekend. Really <laughs> exhausting uh, each day. And um, yeah, I'm ready to uh, say goodbye to G-Fest and uh, probably buy some more stuff, go into bankruptcy, and yeah, should be a good time. And here I am with the one and only Cinematic Trash, day three of Godzilla Fest, the final day. How are you feeling today, sir? I am tired, but tired. I am also having tons of fun. Right, right, so much, so much stuff to do. It is just like a long, exhausting process just all this other stuff. I mean, you've been coming together doing all these crazy vlogs like each day. I don't know how he stays up like editing them I, all in. I don't know either. So, and yeah. then we also have Big Jack Films right there. I am trying to get the last few bits of script of whatever is, energy I have left. You're, what you're catching here is a little behind the scenes action going on. B-roll. Yeah, some B-roll. Yeah. We, we just shot a few things. We Last night we went to, um, and I'll, I'll audit it in, I didn't film it on this camera, but we went to Galloping Ghost Arcade, which is the coolest place in the world. Oh my god, this is the coolest place I've ever seen in my life. 
pretty much. But uh, yeah, so we've got a few more things left to do, and then it'll be a final goodbye for G Fest. It's been a it's been a hell of a con. It's a good one. It's a very good it's been one. A very busy. Let, con. Let's go it's next. Busy. Let's come back next year because it's Godzilla's uh, 70th. I'm so down. Yes, so and we down. gotta we gotta get Kaiju Network in here. We gotta get Kaiju Network. We gotta get D-Man. We gotta get Monstrosities. We gotta get the whole gang. Right, and then if we can get Nick, because like <laughs> we gotta get Nick. We gotta bring his wife and kids. Yes, that'll be yes. fun. We gotta so. get Nick. He's gonna flip. He doesn't like conventions though. He'll he'll go to this one. He'll go to this one. Oh, okay. We'll find a way. And we also gotta get we gotta get all y'all the anime board. That's another thing. Anime we will find a way. I get my passport first. Get your passport. It's yes, one. it's just, gonna be great. Just put an just application for it. But anyways, we'll pick this back up. And thus brings us to the final day of Godzilla Fest. This is G-Fest Day 3 uh, at this convention, and I had a fantastic time overall. So Day 3 kind of began. I woke up, got ready, ate my breakfast, kind of took my time a little bit too because I was just really tired from the day before. Like, my body was just, like, exhausted from this trip. But I had to keep moving, and so I did. So I went over to the hotel once again, met up with Cinematic Trash and Big Jack Films, filmed a few behind-the-scenes stuff, got to meet some people who were fans of the channel. Uh, I think this was between Saturday and Sunday a little bit. So that was really cool. So shout-out to all of you uh, who I met there. So that was really cool. And then pretty much from there, went around did, doing kind of the same things, looking at different panels, booth, looking at things to kind of like go around and play some maybe some games or a little bit here and there, and uh, also going to check out the dealer's room for one last day. My wallet was <laughs> really starting to feel the effects of it because I bought so damn much stuff, uh, whether it's figures, toilet paper, and all that. I had to take like several trips to my vehicle to kind of like drop all this stuff off. Uh, so it was quite a lot of stuff that I had brought with me. I, I may have like brought too much stuff that to the trip that I didn't necessarily need, but it was a lot of fun. So did that. Um, also went and checked out a little bit of a, a showing of an eight millim a super eight millimeter print of uh, Godzilla versus Mecha Godzilla, but it was done in like some other language, like German or something like that. So that was kind of neat and interesting to kind of check it out and to kind of sit and watch that. Um, Explore the convention one last time. Did my kind of final rounds there. Then I went back up all the way to uh, the top floor, if you will, to where Jack and Josh were staying. Staying, and then I went and said my final goodbyes, if you will. After saying the final goodbyes with Jack, from there, I went over back downstairs, met up with Cinematic Trash in that, and we basically watched a couple of uh, little short films, and then we went to grab some food at Bill Murray's Caddyshack Place. And basically from here, I ate some food, said our goodbyes, and that was the final day. Uh, I think they flew back in uh, to Florida like the next day, and then I drove back home, which the trip was like less than four hours going back into the, uh, Illinois. It was over five hours. It was about five hours, and then it was like a lot less on the way back, which is great. Probably because I left a little bit later. There was less traffic, and I took the day off on Monday anyway, so I was just like, I'm just going to recover, and then thus I did. I, I crashed. I had a really good time, and I'm sad to see that the trip had to come to an end. All right. Last day here at Godzilla Fest, currently in the dealer's room, which is still, in my opinion, the coolest place. It's like Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory, but for Godzilla fans. I, I got candy formula. Things. Excuse me. But yeah, like I said, so many figures. This guy's really cool, this super 8 millimeter stuff. All sorts of different things. Looking, looking. I really like this stuff here too. All the different cool stuff. Lots of t-shirts. These are really good. And we're off to find more stuff. All right. Heading up the stairs. Gonna say our final goodbyes. Oh, fantastic. How are you doing, Josh? Living it up, living the dream. I sold about maybe eight VHS tapes. Fantastic. 
Yeah, just packing everything up. I know. Yeah, I'm just going to chill for a little bit. I'll go and have my final meal in a little while. And Do you have lunch? No, I didn't have lunch just yet, so... Probably going to just do all right, here we go. This is the end of G-Fest. You're very backlit over here, so I'm going to walk over here a little bit. So long, farewell, G-Fest 2023. I knew thee well. We shall return maybe in 2024 for the 70th anniversary. Maybe, if we have money, if this economy doesn't go to fucking shit, and we don't end up in the second Great Depression, maybe we can at least look forward to a giant monkey coming back. Yeah, you know, we'll see what happens and all that. It was a, It was a good time. Thank you so much, sir. First time we got to hang out in like five years. Nice to meet you, Josh. The end. Right now we have Godzilla versus Harvey Weinstein. If you will, if this guy tried to harass somebody, <laughs> he just bitch slapped him. <laughs> now, leaving the convention for one last time to grab some food and then good to go. Right on. All right, ready to go to Caddyshack's? Yes, I am. Go Murray's? Sweet. Let's do it. Let's go. <laughs> so did you all enjoy your trip at G-Fest? I had a wonderful time. Great first G-Fest. Oh, it was fantastic. Like, I didn't want it to end, honestly. I think, like, we'll be... Next year. Yes. I will come again next year. It is the place to be. It is the place to be. I'll do one final goodbye in a, after food, but... Then it's... I know, it's like... It's nice, though. Like I said, it's nice to see you all. And I had fun. It was a really good time. There's just so much to do in such a short amount of time. Like, I feel like like every, there was no seconds wasted at all. So, it was just go, 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 go. Talk about no seconds wasted. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. All right. I'm excited to just be in the hotel for being lazy. All right, well, this is where our journey ends. Day this three of Godzilla Fest was a major success. Said goodbye yeah. to Jack and uh, Josh earlier. Now it's time to say goodbye to Pierce and Cinematic Trash. And I know they're, they're the same thing. But uh, this is a really fun weekend. I had a really good time. Um, got any final thoughts on G-Fest? Uh, this was amazing. This is this has been like a really good year, mm -hmm. I think. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of surprised that they've, they've improved since last year. Mm -hmm. It's because we were all here. That's what made it fun. Now yeah, I think I think a lot of it has to do with that we just had more stuff to do to be more involved with. Mm -hmm. It was and, like yeah. nonstop. Like it's got here, it was a nonstop roller coaster, and <laughs> now it's coming to an end. I mean, it just kind of makes me sad that it has to end. But yeah. now we have to go back to our normal, boring lives. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But uh, anyways, it's only it's only for a year. And then one more year, then back. we're back. Then we're, we're back. back. We're, we're back year. on top. Um, and then we'll have to get a. Like uh, kaiju never um, yeah. because, like I said, it just makes it all the more fun in that. So, but uh, yep, I guess this is where I leave you, sir. You take care, brother. Yeah, you take care too. It's time to say goodbye to this convention. So, uh, yes, I'll see you all later. Wait a minute, I need my camera back though. <laughs> Hand cut.